Welcome to the first in a series of instructional videos explaining how to successfully install the SolarEdge Energy Bank. In this series, we will guide you through how to install and commission SolarEdge's Energy Bank from A to Z. This video will show you how to safely unpack, mount, and secure the SolarEdge Energy Bank on the wall. You can also mount the SolarEdge Energy Bank on the floor using a dedicated floor mounting kit ordered separately from SolarEdge. We'll walk you through this installation process in another video. Before we begin, please be advised that only properly trained technicians and SolarEdge certified personnel are allowed to install the SolarEdge Energy Bank. It is also essential that you read the battery installation guide, as well as all warnings and caution notes located on the battery before starting the process. Prepare the installation tools. Note that the tools and cables necessary for the installation must be provided by the installer. Additional tools required for the installation can be purchased from SolarEdge. Let's quickly review what's included in the SolarEdge Energy Bank packaging. The battery, the battery cover, the bracket, the conduit holder, two MC4 connectors, two sets of two screws, and lastly, an installation guide. We're now ready to start. Our first step is to determine a suitable location for the battery installation, one that can withstand the weight of the battery and also takes into account local safety regulations and building codes. The SolarEdge Energy Bank is both indoor and outdoor rated. If installed outdoors, we advise you to keep it away from direct sunlight and extreme temperatures. Also, note the required clearance between the battery and other objects on the wall. Let's continue with unpacking the battery. Place the battery packaging in a convenient location. Now go ahead and remove the external packaging. Start by cutting the zip ties and removing the package cover. Then remove the battery cover and place it in a safe location to avoid damaging the cover. Next, take the cushion and place it aside. Then, take the wall mounting bracket and supplied screws out of the box. Level the bracket and use it to mark the drilling holes in the intended installation location. To attach the wall mounting bracket to the wall, you'll need a minimum of two screws for the top row, one for the left section and the other for the right section. Note that bracket holes can accommodate up to M10 screws or 3 8 inches lag. You can take advantage of the additional holes in the bracket to strengthen its attachment to the wall as needed. Go ahead and secure the bracket to the wall. Place a dolly with lifting capabilities in front of the battery package and lock the dolly's wheels. Make sure the black rubber strip faces the dolly. Do not remove the black rubber strip until the battery is fully positioned. Make sure that the battery circuit breaker is in the off state. Now the battery is ready to be placed on the dolly. Attach two lifting handles to the top handle screw threads. Note that the handles can be reused for future battery installations. For added convenience, we have provided additional handle screw threads and holes to insert lifting straps. Hold the battery from the handles and place it onto the dolly. Cushion the battery and secure it to the dolly using ratchets or other securing straps. In addition, you can put a piece of cardboard under the battery and slide the battery into place on the dolly. Now, unlock the dolly's wheels and move the dolly towards the wall bracket. Once you've removed the ratchets, raise the battery using the lift until it's slightly higher than the bracket. Next, move the battery towards the wall bracket. Mount the battery onto the bracket. Make sure to mount the battery simultaneously onto the upper and lower edges of the bracket. You may now remove the lift. Now, remove the handles and then secure the battery to the wall bracket using the supplied screws. If required, assemble the conduit holder into place. As you can see, the battery is now safely mounted on the wall bracket. Note that the battery cover should be attached once commissioning is completed. We'll guide you how to do that in the commissioning video. Join us for the next video in this series, where we will guide you through the SolarEdge Energy Bank wiring process.